This is a short introduction video of Eager AI um, and especially behind the scenes. So how does it actually work? So here's our online environment. So if you have an Eager AI software license, um, you go to uh, eagerai.com login, and this is what you will see. And of course you can immediately start serving, uh, searching. And in Google, you have a simple search bar and in Eager AI, it's a bit different because Eager AI is a functional technology search engine. And you can say, okay, I'm looking for a material, I'm looking for a film or a component, I'm looking for an ingredient, or I'm looking for <clears throat> a formula. So you can say, we are looking for a device that can uh, detect uh, volatile organic compounds in air. And just press search and you'll find all technologies that can detect volatile organic compounds in air. Um, and here I have some open examples. So we can say uh, to Igor, uh, we want to strengthen steel. You want to say we want to find all technologies that can open a door, like a bomb or a battering ram or a doorknob. Uh, we want to find applications of gold nanoparticles. We want to reduce CO2 in industry. A very, very broad question. Uh, you can say we want to develop a test for the coronavirus. Uh, what are all things being developed right now? And we can say, we want to test the quality of a weld. So this is the case I'm gonna show you right now. So let's go to the results of this case. So this is the results page where we would, where you can easily describe for other colleagues or for yourself uh, for later reference, what was the challenge back then or what is the challenge right now? So you can simply say what the challenge description is, what are the technologies you already knew before you started scouting? Uh, what's the scope? So we're looking for a ready to install technology that can inspect welds, and can be put on a drone or a robot, uh, for example. But the core is we are looking for everything that can inspect weld in a metal or identify a defect in this weld and maybe even determine the weld quality, uh, ideally automated. So let's go behind the scenes. What, if you go searching, does it look like? Well, it looks like this. So like I said, unlike Google, it's a bit more complex in Eager AI because you get a bit more degrees of freedom. So you can say in this specific time I press search, I want to, it must match in a scientific article, in a patent or in a supplier website, inspecting a weld with a robot of metal. So we already made it a bit specific and not only inspect weld, but also the synonyms like inspect. Uh, will be included. And then if you press search, uh, Igor AI will show, uh, I predict that it, they use a laser here to inspect the weld line. Well, let's see if he was correct. So here they are talking about a wall climbing robot inspecting the weld line, and they used it, a robust laser uh, that actually uses structured light, Igor AI thinks. So this could be true. So you can just highlight it and add it as a new technology or structured light was already there before. So you can just type the technology that you scouted and it will add this article to that specific technology. And we can go through this list. Uh, so typically depending on the query, you can get everything between zero and uh, thousands results. And obviously if you get too much results, you might want to constrain it a bit more. So say, okay, this time we want it automatic and then just refresh with the word automatic it must be in there. And then um, you can do the same thing in patents and you can do the same thing in suppliers. And now the automatic is already finished. This is an ultrasonic face array, automatic ultrasonic uh, robotic array. So it does it automatic. Well, now we find um, that's a bit more specific and we only have four results left if we search on this. So if you add all these technologies in this way, like I just showed, um, you will get a full list of all technologies that can be used to inspect welds. So there's acoustic techniques, there's electromagnetic techniques, there's a lot of techniques, and you can let others, your colleagues, vote and invite them to say, hey, do you dislike, like, or super like this specific technology, looking at the information I found about it. And if they all like it, uh, you will see it in the table here because this one, for example, four out of five people liked it and two even super liked it. So this is probably a valuable technology to take to the next level. And that's what I'm gonna show right now. So in the next level, you wanna find a lot more information. So you wanna find out more about the advantages, disadvantages. You wanna find more documents about these technologies. So add more, you wanna find out what's the speed, for example, of this specific 
uh, inspection robot. So how fast can it inspect the wild line? You might want to add suppliers uh, with the supplier websites and even make notes. Uh, so you want to add a lot of information for your colleagues um, and enrich it so they can in the end uh, see a full, complete overview of all technologies and also ranked on this radar, for example. So the outer ring would be very fundamental technologies and the middle would mean this is already available so we can just buy it and everything in between like a pilot scale, uh, there's a startup working on it or that, that sort of questions. Um, and you can structure this information so everyone else in your company will know these are the technologies, this is how they rate it, um, this is how fast they are. So um, it will help you to make a decision. And obviously you can click on each of these technologies and scroll down to the information that you gathered uh, in eager eye, including uh, some of the suppliers with of course links to their um, 